Today we're going to make basbusa, a traditional Egyptian dessert. First, we're going to start off with the dry ingredients. First, we're going to start off by adding our 3 cups of semolina to the mixing bowl. Next, we're going to add 2 tablespoons of coconut powder to the mixing bowl. Now we add just a pinch of salt. Now we're going to move on to the wet ingredients, starting off with a stick of butter. Now we're going to add 1.5 cups of whole milk. You can add more or less depending on how thick you want it to be. Next we add 1 fourth cup of honey. 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and 3 fourths cup of sugar. Now we're going to cook it on medium heat until the butter and sugar melt together. Make sure to stir. Gradually, the butter will dissolve. Make sure it's all gone before continuing. After the butter and sugar have fully melted together, now it's time to add the wet ingredients to the dry ones. As you can tell by the steam, the wet ingredients are still a little bit hot. That's totally fine. Next, we're going to start to mix our ingredients together. Initially, it will be tough, but it will gradually get easier as the wet ingredients and dry ingredients combine. The mixture won't be perfectly smooth, but that's alright. Now we're going to grease our pan. Make sure to spread your cooking spray or oil evenly around the pan to prevent the basbusa from sticking to it. As you begin to add it to the pan, you'll notice that the basbusa is qu still quite solid. That's okay. If you added less milk, it may be even junkier. And now let's preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And now let's set a 30 minute cooking timer. While that happens, let's make our syrup, starting off with 1.5 cups of sugar. After that, let's add an equal amount of water. And now we add 1 teaspoon of lemon juice. And now we cook it on medium heat for about 6 minutes. During this time, be sure to stir occasionally, and make sure to make contact with the bottom of the pan to ensure that the sugar mixes properly. Our final ingredient is 1 teaspoon of flavoring. This is mostly up to you. Some common options are rose flavored water, orange blossom water, and vanilla essence. For this video, we chose to use orange water though you are free to pick whatever you like. Be sure not to add too much flavor as it can make the smell of the syrup very strong. Now we're going to take our basbusa out the oven and add our syrup to it. Make sure you do this while the basbusa is still hot as it allows it to absorb the syrup much better. To make this process a little faster, we're going to pre-cut our basbusa so that the syrup can better penetrate it. Here we add an almond to each piece. This step is mostly for decoration and is optional. And now we're going to add our syrup. As you can tell by the steam, it's still quite hot, which helps the absorption process. Initially, it will seem like we're adding way too much syrup, but over time, it will gradually soak in.
Here, I retrace the cuts we made previously with a knife, and I shake it a little bit to widen the gaps. This again will help the absorption process. Despite all we've done to speed up the absorption process, it still takes quite a while for the masbusa to fully absorb the syrup. Don't worry, be patient and eventually it will look better. Be sure to wait for the basbusa to reach room temperature before serving it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.